We believe that the arts can help to change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer, and musician Martha Lily Dyer. Be inspired by endangered environments, plants and animals, and learn about tribal culture. Create. Exhibit, connect and change. It's the last chance to paint. Uh, good morning, it's the next morning and it's quite exciting uh, because there are, I think, macaque monkeys. We'll check that out in the distance. That's what Martha Lily's photographing. This morning I was out looking at the river and I saw a snake swim down the river and I think it might have been a tentacle snake, which is an aquatic snake. It was sort of patterned and it swam quite fast. And we've also seen some crab-eating macaque monkeys, which are amazing. I use acrylic paint. It's easy to transport, it dries really quickly and I can get a painting done in half a day. So one in the morning, and if I've got the energy, one in the afternoon. So I've just finished my painting for this morning of the orangutans in their nests, and I've been showing it to the orangutans, but they're not interested because they're looking for the delicious fruits that I've also painted on the trees. They're so bendy. <laughs> What's your favourite thing you have seen so far, plant, animal, insect or place? I love seeing the um, mummy orangutan with her little baby on her neck yesterday and she actually waded across the river at the end of the day um, which was just absolutely magical. I think my favourite moment and the favourite things I've seen so far were the monkeys we saw at the other end of camp today. They were crab-eating macaques and it was amazing to see them in their natural habitat just foraging for food. So everybody's looking for a helicopter. It's been sent in to try and fight the uh, forest fires. We saw a helicopter this morning going over to fight the forest fires that have been set illegally and all the time we've been here uh, leaves, charred remains of, of uh, tropical leaves are just falling out of the sky. Going up river on the boat now to, to another camp. We've arrived at Camp Gemini. Let's go explore. Hello, uh, this is Aikon. Uh, I think a few months uh, a few months ago uh, he lost her mother. So here he is. He is alone, and I hope he found someone will take of take care of him. Uh, there's one another orangutan called Ilik. He lost her baby, and I hope. The, I hope Ilik will take care of him as a stepmother. We're about to go on a two kilometre round walk to see if we can spot any adult orangutans. So you can see she's following behind the baby, very, very inquisitive. She can. She's uh, loaded herself up with most of the These adult orangutans are fed once a day, but it's not a meal, it's just an added extra because they find most of their food in the forest. So everybody behind me just scattered from the base of the tree because the uh, the uh, orangutan at the top just did a big wee which came straight down near them, which is quite fun. Orangutans are a critically endangered species and they've got three major threats. So habitat loss, for example, for palm oil. Um, they're being hunted 
and there's also the illegal pet trade where the babies are collected and sold off and those three factors are, are having a huge impact on this species. So uh, in August, August 16, we did a rescue on orangutan, mother and uh, baby. Uh, they are uh, in small area of forest and the ar around the forest is oil coconut palm oil plantation and we when we succeed rescue them we just found seven bullets air rifle bullets uh, inside the mother's body and uh, I, I I did a minor su minor surgery to remove uh, the bullets so they all got they all got weed on again and they suddenly ran So Martha Lee's got a nice dry piece of boat. Because I made the whole boat move round so that I didn't have to sit in a puddle. <laughs> So we just hit another log, as one does, and we lost the propeller this time. But it's okay, we've got a spare. <laughs>